in the beta male sympathy is going on in this video? I gotta show you this video, guys. This just came across my timeline about this guy who's retired as an army vet and he goes on these um, dating websites. There's actually these dating websites for inmates for you to hook up with inmates and allows you to chat and send emails back and forth. So this guy goes on there and, you know, he sees this lady, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes. I don't know what it is about these brothers, but it is true. Blonde hair, blue eyes, white women are kind of like a kryptonite. <laughs> so this guy sees this girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, look, looking good, you know, and, and he sends messages back and forth. They're talking, and this guy turns from a human to a beta male chimpanzee. He's out there putting money on her books. You know, she's calling her all the time. And, you know, I did this one time going out with a girl that was an inmate in jail. And, guys, when you call her, it costs you tons of money to call her. And then when you want to put stuff on the commissary, you're paying for stuff, that you know, that's low-grade quality for a high price. So, I, I don't know, but that's how the jail, they can take control over it. And you know, this guy was waiting so long, very patient for a whole year. And when the girl comes out, this is what you're gonna see in this video. How this guy, even though that the girl comes out and he's been helping her for the last year and a half, watch how this girl finesses the beta male sympathy while having the real guy in the background. That's why guys, you should not be treating this lady as a wife. You know, if you do want her as a wife, then get her married and then she can ask all of these ridiculous um, demands. But until then, why pay for the cow when you can get the milk for free? You know, do not overpay for this woman when she's giving it out for free to some other guy. He has been waiting to have sex with me like for the last like year and a half. I will try one on. But you can look, but you cannot touch. Oh, don't tease me like that. I don't have to try one on if you don't want me to. Now, go ahead, try, no, those go ahead, rules no, are no, bad try it on, please, please. So guys, did you see the red flag in this video? Red flag number one is that this girl stays over at this guy's house. That's that's one thing that you do not do. You see, what you have here is most likely is a hobosexual. So this lady is staying at his house. For the possibility of sex at least in my case there was sex going on so a lot of time when these when these ladies get out you know they just send them out on the streets with with very little money whatever they had going into jail is what they give them back in their backpack and they go out to jail so really they don't have any jobs lined up they don't have a place to stay especially if they pissed off their family and their friends whatever the case is a lot of times they're gonna find this one beta male simp that they can go to and you know use him as a place to stay and to buy stuff so in this situation i don't know what happened to this guy why you know even he's letting that girl stay at his house but he's not getting any of the benefits he bought all of this nice clothing for her to try out and even when she gets the clothing you she is so She's so nasty with him telling him you can't touch it, you can only see, and really playing with his emotions. That's that's another red flag right there, you know, that you're buying all these gifts and you're not able, you can only see and not touch. Hey. Yeah. You like it? Baby, huh? Oh my God, baby. Uh, sit on your hands. Sit on my hands? Yeah, you're not touching me. Come on, baby. What I tell you for I put this lingerie on? I mean, understood. Lord, have mercy. She didn't disappoint. <laughs> That's how you get tonight. No, no, come back. I'm not even comfortable with my little ass boobs in this outfit. I think I'll feel so much more comfortable if I had some big boobs. On. That's what you want, baby. That's what I really want. You're gonna do it, baby. You promise? No sex until I get my boobs done. <sighs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you see another red flag right here. Right now, she's trying to test 
his loyalty towards her by making a, a big cash price purchase request. She's trying to see how far she can go with this guy. See what happened is this guy's trying to treat her like a wife. So now he's going to pay the ultimate price and somebody else is going to enjoy her. So she got this idea of getting big boots, most likely from other men who said that she needs to be, she can be more attractive if she had bigger boots. There's really nothing wrong with her right now. So what happened is the real boyfriend is the one that probably commented and said that she needs bigger boots. And because she can't get that from the real boyfriend, you know, he doesn't have money or whatever, or either Pookie and Ray Ray. So now she's going to go to her sugar daddy and ask her to get those, get that request done by the sugar daddy. And when she gets that request, it's the boy, the real boyfriend that's going to really enjoy it. So brother and sister, that's why they say, you know, why buy the cow and can get the milk for free. There's no point in buying this big ticket purchase item for this lady when after she gets it, she's going to get up and leave and go to the real boyfriend. Oh, Please. Come on, baby. Oh, baby, don't do that. Come on. Since you had sex. About a week ago. You guys can do that in prison? Deontay has no idea that I plan on keeping it that way. Here's another red flag, guys. If you see your girl trying to hold back on sex for more than a week, in my case, you know, the girl tried to pull it on me for trying to do it once a month. But then she, for the real guy that she wants to do it with, she's going to do it every other day or whenever requested. So that said, so right there, if that girl's trying to hold out for you for more than a week, and then she's making a whole list of demands and asking for a big ticket purchase price, then you are not the one that she wants. You need to leave her right away. Let her go and deal with the guy that she really wants and ask her for those expensive items. Because what's going to happen is she's going to try one week without sex. And then she's going to try one month without sex. And then she's going to try one year without sex. There's a lot of people right now. You can even ask Dr. T. Hassan Johnson. He's, he's doing studies on this where they're sexless marriages. 25% of them are sexless marriages. That would never happen if they put their foot down right from the beginning when they're trying to say, you can, you're going to dangle this carrot of sex in front of me and you're going to ask for ultimatums. And if you don't do the ultimatum, then you don't have sex, then drop this lady right away. This lady, this is another red flag. This lady should be giving it up every other day, especially if you want her to be your wife, you're trying to treat her as a wife then you should be getting every if you're not getting every day you're trying to get it every week or every month leave this lady alone because she already knows what's going on she's talking to her girlfriends telling her that she's that she's trying to test this out and the other girlfriends are like are you really gonna try and do that and most, when this happens usually the guy cheats goes to find another girl and then the girl ca catches the guy in a cheat and and acts surprised saying why did he cheat on her they already know why. Deontay's out buying me a new dress right now. Is he? He bought me a bunch of gifts, too. He bought me two Michael Kors watches, three pairs of Jordans. Uh, Barbie does Barbie not care. Barbie has kind of maintenance. <laughs> Deontay was sending Nicole lots of money while she was in prison. All she had to say is, I need or I want, and it was there. This is the thing, guys, that when she goes ahead and she does all of these lavish requests, she goes back to her girlfriends and they all be chatting and laughing it up and they're laughing all about you and all these demands and requests. They all know that what she's doing is bad and they already know what she's really up to. But none of them are going to tell you what's wrong with the situation. You need to pick up on their social cues. You need to keep watching these red pill videos and learn about these female nature because what they're doing right here it's just taking it too far. And even though they're taking it too far, none of the women are going, going to address that problem. They wish they could be in that situation. They wish they could be her right now. So anyways, guys, when you see these type of red flags, red flags more than a China, more than more red than in the China flag that you, brothers, you need to break away from this situation. See, I, see, I got burned twice 
you know, the first time I said, well, I'll let her back in. And the second time I knew for sure this was a bunch of nonsense because she was trying to hold out sex, but making a whole bunch of requests for cars, clothing and jewelry. And I could see before even knowing the red pill, I knew something was wrong. And then that's one of the reasons why I learned the red pill right away. It's, it's because when you date some of these women, you get turned on to the red pill and you learn the true female nature. Dante has no idea that I was in love with Tia. And I plan on keeping it that way. Hey, baby, what's up with you? And there you have it, guys. Plain sight right there. She's calling her other boyfriend and, and checking up on how, on how he is. He didn't meet that boyfriend just today. She had that boyfriend in the background probably throughout the whole prison sentence and even while going out with the beta male sympathy. And you see, guys, once you pick up on all of these, you know, red flags, you'll know that the lady was never for you. You know, most likely what's going to happen is that she's going to keep receiving the gifts until the guy finally realizes that this is not going anywhere. And every night she's going to be out with her girls and really she's going to use that as a way. Well, in my situation, that's what happened. She, she was always having a girls' night out using the S and excuse so she can really go to the real boyfriend. You see, what she did all this time is she'll go out with her girlfriend and tell you that story. And then after once the girlfriend meets, they'll take her to the boyfriend and use that as an alibi. And while she's getting her back blown out every day, that's why she doesn't want to have anything with you because she's too tired having sex with the other boyfriend. And here you come and she she's too tired. So really, if you're not getting it every other day, that means she's getting her back blown out by some other dude down the street. These are all red flags brothers need to see. If you see these red flags, drop the lady and go find yourself someone. Because if you treat this lady like a wife, you will pay the ultimate price. That's all I gotta say guys, that's one for YouTube. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and bye bye